Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss this trade which I took on Friday on SPX 500. So without wasting time, let's get started. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this was the trade which I took on Friday and this trade was a high frequency trade. So what I did was so most probably I trade silver bullet and silver bullet starts from 10 but i start trade start taking trades from 10 30 okay so now this what concept i want to show you guys that sometimes what happens is like because it was nfp also on friday but sometimes what happens like when we take trades at silver bullet that we don't know that market is about to be chopped up or like it's gonna do consolidation so during the consolidation we lose lots of money so the thing is the money which we make on trending day right we lose all of that money on consolidation day or like that like the way we, like the way the market was on monday right wait so this is a monday right over here okay so in this one you can see ict fair value gap and market structure shift and all of that but the thing is that this is not the truth okay you only make money when market is about to have a when market has a volume and it's about to about to go in certain direction okay then only you make money so for me i mark the dealing range of the market which starts from nine o'clock like right over here nine o'clock till ten o'clock so these are mine this is my dealing range so when the silver bullet is in my dealing range so i will not take the trade because i know most probably is going to be a consolidation day at that time okay but what happened is so if you mark this dealing range you will remove all of this crap from here and you will be not taking trade in this because i know lots of traders they make money on trending day but at this time when the markets get chopped up and they take two or three losses in a single day and they lose all of their account and money so if you know about this dealing range you will get to know that when is a when market is about to make a trend and when market is about to make a consolidation so when market is about to make a trend it will leave this dealing range and it will start making higher highs and higher lows and it will give you order blocks on one minute time frame it will start giving you order blocks fair value gap and a good probability setup okay so on monday I knew that the market is trending over here or market is consolidating over here inside the dealing range so I didn't took any trade okay and then on Tuesday but I took it in an afternoon session there's a different scenario I will tell you about that and on Tuesday like right over here okay it's a Tuesday on Tuesday look at this daily this range uh, till 9 to 10 over here so this was our this was our dealing range so see price left that dealing range right so when price left that dealing range you will get enough time to enter in the market so like right over here after 10 30 you can see a small little fair value gap right over here right and you can see that the market structure shift towards the downside and you can easily enter into that and you can just ride till over here and when you see a market structure shift against you like right over here and i will tell you how to look for that you will get to know about that okay your trade was wrong or like you can close your trade right over here but the thing is when market leaves the dealing range then only look for this thing which i'm about to tell you right now okay so let's take the friday scenario so this i recorded this trade live also and i will put it in a i will put it in this video only after this explanation i will put the live recording of it so if you look over here okay you can see at nine o'clock this this was a low and this was the high okay and price left that dealing range okay and i don't need a bias okay so it's a high frequency trade and you should you should you will be able to see in that live video which i will put in the end of this video but the thing is i look for the bias but the thing is when your bias is wrong and you will keep on pushing the buttons and if you're not emotionally controlled you will lose all of your money but with this thing which i do for this also you need a good emotional you, you need to cut off your losses right over here so the thing which i want to tell you about is this one so 
first of all remove the wicks from your chart okay because the bodies of the candle are the real price and the wicks are only the wicks are only a damage to the price the wicks are only made to take your stop losses so right over here you can easily see that you can easily see that market is going up down up making higher highs and higher lows and it's making going up and then you can see a market structure shift right over here and then you can see another market structure shift it's easy right over here you can easily see that you can see the clean price right over here but at this moment if you put the wicks in the place like this it's kind of look choppy right over here so the thing which i did i took a buy over here okay and then it went up so you will look only for the bodies so this is the this is the higher low for me and this is the higher high for me and when i take trades so if market goes down like this if the bodies of the candle okay if it closes below this line below the body of this candle right over here so it means it's a market structure shift for me not the wicks the wicks can i told you that wicks only do damage right so if the bodies have been closed below this line it's a stop loss for me okay and but what happens over here it goes down it wicks out all of the people and it vents up okay and when it broke the structure right over here one more time so now my another higher low is this candle body right over here and my another higher high is this one so if market will go up it will not break this higher low right but market gave another market structure shift right over here and you can see it's a high frequency trading right so that's why it's like if you don't want to follow a bias then you have to do this type of high frequency trading and less emotions so you have, because you can be wrong in this one and i will tell you why how i was wrong okay i took a buy over here and then you can look price gave a price gave a market structure shift towards the upside now it has given another market structure shift towards the upside so now this is my higher low right and this is my higher high okay right over here and i have taken a buy over here you will be able to see that in that live video okay so then what happens like when market goes down over here it gives a market structure shift then i close my trade i close my buy which i took over here okay and now i took a sell over here all right so what happens then market went down and gave a small structure candle break it's a it's it's a algorithmic order block i think so you have seen that ICT 2022 mentorship like 12th episode in that he talks about if market is going down and if it if it's leaving this type of candles it means that this candle should be respected if market is about to go down but what happens over here it gives a market structure shift okay it breaks that candle right over here so when market break this candle like this i close my trade okay at the break even because this candle was fast you will be able to see in the recording so now this is going higher high and now this is my higher low and now this goes up and i missed this entry right over here over here okay it didn't came to this fair value gap so now it gave another lower low and then it gave another higher high so now this is my higher low and now this is my higher high only look for the bodies don't look for the wicks okay so that's why you have to be more attentive at that time only one hour in a day you should be attentive when you are taking trades with this thing okay now it goes up from here so now this is my higher low and now my this is is my higher high and i i placed my buy limit over here okay you can see in the live video and then marketed all of its consolidation right over here and it's chopped up you can see i i think so i took a sell also over here when market gave a market structure break right over here and see what happens after that so this is what happens when you are not trading with the buyer so you have to close your trades early okay so what happened is my stop loss was above this and then market went up from here and when this candle's body closed above this candle's body i closed i cut off my trade right over here okay and then i took a buy at this candle's high right over here and i caught it live and i i pointed out in my discord group also and i told people about it and i took a buy over here and then i place my stop loss below this candle over here okay and then market was straight towards the upside for us you can see the risk reward but i targeted for only one ratio like one ratio 4 or one ratio 3.5 this was my target because i lost some i lost like a 1k in this process when market went up like this i lost like a 1k over here and then i i was taking for i took a sell also over here also i guess no not over here like i took the 
buy over here okay and it was like about to be a stop loss so when closes over down over here i close the trade so but i got the buy in the end and then it went keeps on going up keeps on going up and now you can hold the trade till the time you can see a market structure shift okay now right over here when market went down i can see this candle right over here it's making like a structural point and when market breaks down away it doesn't mean that it will go down okay it can go up also but the thing is i closed i could i could have closed my trade at this point over here but i closed it over here only and then it, you can see the consolidation and then it kept on going up but the but the thing which i'm trying to tell you about is that it's easy and simple you have to only look at the bodies of the candle you don't have to look at the wigs like yeah you have to take care of the wigs okay but you should not take them serious because those are the fake outs and you know that like it's only made to take the retail stop losses okay because there are lots of people like those who have been seen that market has went up from here and then they can see that it's a demand zone for them and then what happens over here okay the same thing which happened over here when they are um, when they saw this bullish bullish engulfing i think it's engulfing like this what they called so when they saw this bullish engulfing right so then they have taken a buy but what happens after that market comes down and takes the low right over here okay so this is a high frequency trading because i took like three or four trades at, in, in this much time only three or four trades which is, which is high risky okay because if you lose if you get into emotional if you go emotional right so for example when i close so for, so for example okay when market went down like this and it broke this low right over here if i would have thought like oh i should hold it market is going overall up and i should hold this trade i think so it will go probably go up because the market bias is bullish and all of that see what happens okay you can you guys you guys can you guys would, might be pointing out this fair value gap also okay but this fair value gap is not necessary because there was a structural point right over here okay so not every every imbalance is a fair value gap so keep that in mind okay and now you can look at over here so if i would have hold it this trade this trade would have been a straight loss right straight 1% loss but i cut off my trade right over here and i took a sell at that moment and when market gave another market structure shift i would have thought oh the market is falling overall it went so much up and i think so it will go down and it has taken all of that thing right if i would have hold it that trade then what would have happened over here it would have gone and taken my stop loss but what i did i cut off my all emotions and i just say i can see that there's a market structure shift so i should close my trade so i cut off my another trade right over here okay so this is what you have to do you have to you have to not go through your emotions you have to look what's 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 the candles are showing it to you what the candle bodies are showing it to you the, if you can point out if you can predict the candle bodies and if you can if you can just look for the candle bodies you will be easily seeing a good fair value gaps order blocks and everything and this thing works on any time frame you can the thing which i am doing right over here you can do it on any time frame but the thing is you need a emotional control and you need a good risk management for this okay so i hope you guys understood about this and the main thing look for the dealing range otherwise who knows you end up in this consolidation okay if you end up in this consolidation i can i can bet that you will lose all of your money in this consolidation and you might would have been losing all of the all of your accounts all of your funded accounts in this in this consolidation i know about that so but the thing is please try to avoid the consolidation and how you will know how you will get to know that today will be the consolidation day just mark the dealing range right if price leaves the dealing range then look for the buys okay if it goes below look for the sells but the thing is now some guys will come and say that it's a breakout or like a, it's a retail breakout strategy no it's you are understanding the order flow of higher time frames okay or you can do a higher time frame analysis and then you can bring the higher time frame narrative into a smaller time frames and then you can take the trade but i am just talking about a one single time frame okay i am just talking about one single time frame i am not marking anything from i am just not building any narrative or i am not marking the daily highs and lows 4h 1h 15 minute no i am just looking at the candle bodies and i am just looking for that yes is it giving a market structure shift or not that's it and if you can put some bias into it that's also a good thing but the thing is you have to look for this dealing range otherwise you will end up losing your account and 
the days when market is consolidating right consolidating right over here like doing up and down up and down don't take the trade that day that day is a learning day for you because at those day lots of traders will lose money but you know about this dealing range so you will not take the trades right over there and you will end up taking trades in this type of bullish order flow or like this type of big high big days right you should not end up in that like like that monday like that like like this monday all right over here where it is like this monday right you will not end up over here otherwise you know that you will end up taking stop losses over here okay so i hope you guys understood and you have to just look for the candle bodies and that's it and i will i am just putting the live video so so just watch that video also and look for that how i executed the trades that will help you a lot okay so i'm just playing the video all right